Also, remember the whole idea of taking a definite integral is first you take the antiderivative, and then do you remember, then you have to plug in the limits of integration and do a subtraction. So we have to still keep, keep in mind that these are our limits of uh, integration over here. All right, let's make sure we're not making any mistakes since this is a long problem. Good, so you saw that you have to put a two in on this sign because of this two over here. Uh, before we actually start plugging in these limits of integration, how can we simplify this complicated fraction here? Let's try simplifying it. Mm -hmm. So what does that give us? Take your time with that. You got it. That's right. That's right, although I think there's still um, a simplification that we can make, which is, uh, what should we plug in for n? For n, um, oh, three. That's right, now would be a good time to do that. So let's plug in for n. <coughs> careless mistakes. <coughs> now we can plug in L and L over 3. And remember the way we do this is we're going to plug these in and subtract. We're going to plug these in and subtract. So I'm going to put in a great big bracket over here. And then what are we plugging in for X? plug in L over 3 for X. <coughs> so you can see why we had to introduce a new level of parentheses with these brackets to hold everything in place. First we plugged L into this difference, and then we plugged L over 3, and then we're subtracting those two differences. So there's a lot of ways that we can get messed up here.
get the six from? Uh, you have one here, right? Two over twelve. No, I think that's in here. You were you were saying this term was equal to this term, right? For this, yeah, this is equal to. Okay, so you brought the one over here. Mm -hmm. Then you did two over twelve is six. Oh yeah. All right. Now what should happen to the L's here? Oh, the cancel. So you can get rid of that L over there. So one. Over all right, and that matches what I have on the board. And then you have minus one third, which is what I have on the board, plus one. Now, um, what okay, happens the to these L's? Yeah, so we can cancel all the L's. Except for canceling the L's, I think you're pretty close to what I have on the board there. So then you have one minus a third is two thirds. And then you have, and again, the L's should all be gone. Yeah. And this is two pi? Because six pi over three is two pi. Okay. All right. So the only thing that gave me trouble, this was complicated algebra, but the only problem was canceling all the L's. Um, here we have an L on the bottom, and all the other terms have L's on the top. So all the L's cancel, and then you got 2 thirds minus 1 over 6 pi sine 6 pi. One over six pi sine two pi. Okay, now what? Um, <coughs> do you just solve for it? Let's do that. I shouldn't have you do that on the calculator. Let's go through that again. Two thirds mm -hmm. minus one over six pi. Times okay. Now, anytime you have more than one thing in a, on the numerator or denominator of a fraction, you have to put that in parentheses so that the calculator knows there's more than one thing there. 